Russ Niles reporting for uh, Abbrief at NBAA 2025 here in Las Vegas. I don't know about you, but business jets, they all kind of look the same to me. There's no mistaking the Auto uh, Phantom 3500. Uh, it's the most unique aircraft I think we've ever seen here at, uh, at NBAA. And uh, it's caught the attention of, uh, of FlexJet, who has ordered 300 of them. Here's Scott Drennan, the COO of the company, to uh, tell us all about it and what makes it so unique. Hi, my name is Scott Drennan. I'm the president and COO of Auto Aviation, and we're here at MBAA 2025 to take a walk around the Auto Phantom 3500. The Auto Phantom 3500 is a super mid business jet that uses laminar flow technology to reduce the energy required for flight. If you're familiar with uh, super mid aircraft today, they usually come in at around 40,000 pounds. Our aircraft is at 19,000 pounds because laminar flow the aerodynamic concept reduces the drag by about 30%. And after that drag is reduced, you can reduce the size of your engine, reduce the si size of the fuel quantity on board, and the aircraft itself shrinks down. The economics then start to come with it, because as we all know, the aviation and the cost of uh, aircraft goes relatively linear with max takeoff gross weight. So we're able to offer the same super mid performance at half the cost, and we still get coast to coast range, still carry eight to nine passengers, still get the speeds required, and we have an excellent uh, customer experience in our large cabin that you see behind us. Um, auto Aviation, or now Auto Aerospace, started back in 2010 or so. Uh, Dr. Bill Otto Sr. Uh, started the company after a career in uh, torpedoes where he used laminar flow to make them more efficient and um, he ported that technology up into airplanes. Laminar flow is not a new technology, but it is a, a technology that was difficult to implement, and today's computer uh, fluid dynamics, computational fluid dynamics, excuse me, and our manufacturing techniques allow us to create the surfaces and the shapes necessary for pragmatic laminar flow. So that's how we got to this aircraft. Dr. Otto built a 9,000 pound demonstrator called the Seller of 500 uh, and flew it back before COVID. Uh, that was very successful. The uh, laminar flow could be seen on the surfaces, measured in the fuel burn and the thrust, and um, it really convinced a lot of us to come on board and make a new product. Uh, this product is the Phantom 3500, as we mentioned, and it will be the first transonic aircraft with a very high percentage of laminar flow. The wing has about 90% coverage and the uh, fuselage has laminar flow up to the main cabin door. You see the uh, Williams FJ44-4 engines and um, they are a very reliable commercial off the shelf uh, engine that uh, have about 13 million flight hours on it. Great quiet power mode to run our accessories on the, on the ground and um, not, not um, tax the engine too much. Landing gear? The landing gear is provided by MechAir. There are partners on both the landing gear and the uh, flight control system. And uh, this mock-up landing gear is relatively similar to what it'll look like on the real, real aircraft, but not quite all the way. The integration in the wing is uh, correct, as well as the integration in the fuselage. Uh, but pretty standard affair there, uh, but bespoke like most aircraft are, just like the aer aero structures would be. Yeah, our, um, our speed during cruise is gonna be 0.78, MMO is 0.8. Um, We'll fly about 3,200 nautical miles with MBAA reserves, four passengers on board, uh, and our max uh, range on a ferry type mission is trending towards 3,500 nautical miles. One of the great things that uh, happens on this aircraft, given our wing design, is that um, it's a big dumb wing. You see it's very simple. There are no canoes, no actuation, except for the internal actuation for the, for the drop hinges around the flaperon and the aileron. Um, but that big surface area lowers the wing loading and allows for 
3,500 feet basic field length performance, great climb to 51,000 feet, and then the handling qualities required up at that altitude for that thin air. Um, we love this wing, it's the key to laminar flow. It's 90% covered in laminar flow during cruise and uh, really uh, sets, sets a new standard for this class of, of business jet. Avionics? Avionics, we're looking at Garmin. They're gonna be on FTV1 with us and then progress into the Garmin 3000 system and, and hopefully get to Prime. We're just focusing though on FTV1, building a uh, federated system quasi-integrated system together to put on that prototype vehicle. Yeah, certification is targeted for about 2030. We're in part 23, so that's an important thing to keep in mind for everyone. The part 23 is 19,000 pounds and, and under, 10 people and under, and so we're really pleased to be in a well-defined certification framework, and uh, we look forward to accomplishing that by 2030. We're not talking about price yet, you know, but uh, just keep in mind the, the concept that we talked about before. We've reduced the fuel burn by 60%. We have reduced the weight by 50%. So the cost, the direct operating cost and the cost to acquire the aircraft go proportionally with those values. And therefore, you know, pricing is going to be extremely competitive and we'll see what the market tells us for the exact number versus our competition. Do you want to talk about flex jet? FlexJet is the greatest uh, announcement we've had recently. They are a launch customer. We announced with them at the Up Summit two, three weeks ago. They have purchased 30, 300 um, Phantom 3500s. That's one of the largest uh, business jet orders out there, maybe in history. They're a great partner. They have a certain risk profile that matches ours. We are both aggressive about innovation and we understand what it means to a fleet to have an aircraft like this serving their customers.